Good morning. We are going to test our blood sugar after eating a built bar right after this. Hey, what's up, family? My name is Joe, and I am one half of Two Crazy Ketos. The other half is my wife, Rachel, and I'm not going to subject her to this blood sugar test. Now, here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like product reviews, we do recipe videos, we talk about various keto topics, and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us on all different kinds of social media like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and we also have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com, and that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every Every single week so make sure you subscribe to our channel and you hit that little bell button down below so that you are notified every single time we upload a new video so recently uh, Rachel and I actually did a review of these built bars and uh, they taste incredible like dangerously incredible uh, but one of the ingredients it's actually like the last ingredient on the list or second last ingredient on the list is um, DRM maltodextrin so we decided before we even release that review video, which we're going to release it anyway, we wanted to do a blood sugar test on these. So I am going to be the sacrificial lamb and I am going to have a built bar for breakfast. Yes. And uh, it's going to be uh, a five net carbs. I believe it was 13 total carbs, if I remember right. Yes, 13 total carbs. Starting my day off with five net carbs. Not super happy about that. But we are going to do it. So I have my handy dandy little blood sugar test. And I forgot the Lancet. I'll be right back. Okay. It is kind of weird sitting here at this table without Rachel. Okay, let's go ahead and prick our finger. Start that blood. Let's get one of these out. And our blood sugar is 91. Now it is a little early in the morning for me. I just got up. So usually that goes down a little bit, but we're starting out with 91. So now we are going to sacrifice and have one of these bars. What are we gonna have? Raspberry chocolate cream, vanilla chocolate cream, double chocolate cream, mint brownie delight, orange chocolate cream, vanilla chocolate cream what are we gonna try i think we're gonna do the mint brownie delight because uh it's probably gonna be rachel's least favorite since we didn't try this Ooh, look at that gooey That is pretty good. It is chewy. Very much like caramel. I would say uh, taste-wise, it's not very chemically. I mean, it, it is, but it isn't. Very similar to a Girl Scout Thin Mint. Just not the cookie part, but the flavor, the chocolate, you got a Girl Scout Thin Mint flavor. Maybe a hint of a York Peppermint Patty. Well, I didn't even look what time it is. It is 8.30. So... We're gonna go finish this since this is breaking my fast. This is what I'm starting off my day with. I'm not gonna like just kind of consume it super quick. I'm going to enjoy it. And then we will come back 30 minutes after I finish eating this. Okay, it is 9, 10 in the morning. 
Uh, it's about uh, 30 minutes since I finished eating that bar. I finished eating it uh, at about 8.40. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, test our blood again. Use some alcohol and wipe off my finger. We'll do a prick. Oh, I didn't feel that one. I hope I got some blood. Okay, let's get some blood out. Wipe it off. Okay. Blood sugar is 91 after 30 minutes. It's 40 minutes since I started eating it, 30 minutes since I finished eating it. Um, that's pretty good. I'm pretty excited about that. I'm actually shocked that it didn't go up at all. Um, but we're going to stick with 91. We're going to come back in another hour. So at uh, 10 after 10. Okay. We're going to uh, test again. It has been one hour since we ate uh, the Bilt Bar. I actually made a mistake before. I know when I signed off on the last one, I said we're gonna come back in an hour. I meant an hour after we first ate the Bilt Bar. So it is 9.40 right now, 30 minutes since the last test. And uh, let's go ahead and clean our fingers because like, yeah, I'm playing on the computer and video games and who knows what? Okay. Right about a test strip. I actually am very disappointed with these test strips. And um, I don't know, this is the contour. I, I guess all of the companies are like this, but it's kind of weird that when you stick your hand in there to get the test strips, you're grabbing the part that the blood goes on. I feel like I'm contaminating them. Shouldn't you be grabbing the little sensor part? Because, I don't know, I feel like if there's anything on your fingers, you're immediately putting it on the test strip part. I don't know, maybe it's just me. Let me know down below. Like, is it, are these packaged wrong or is that how they always are? I've never really paid attention to it till now. Okay. It's not turning on. I think I just ruined a strip. E2, I ruined a strip. Try this again. I didn't push the strip in enough. Okay. Eighty six. So my blood sugar is that going to focus? Focus. So my blood sugar has gone from a 92 to an 86, an hour after eating the Bilt Bar. I don't know what to make of that. I'm actually gonna test it again just to make sure that like that's not like a bad test. Cause I don't know, it's, it's kind of weird that it dropped, but maybe not. I mean, that's a good thing. I mean, that it didn't elevate my blood sugar, but I was more expecting it to kind of stay the same. I wonder if I can get away with just squeezing out some more blood. No, no such luck. Where'd that alcohol pad go? We'll use a different pad. Ooh, that one hurt. Okay, let's see. So we were at what, 86, 86? See, this one says 90. So it's still down, it's still not up, but it's very weird. We're gonna test it one more time and we're gonna use the average of the three. I think we can definitely get more blood out of that one. There we go. Just, you know, and that's the one thing with these meters is these meters, you know, they're not perfect. They, they do have a, you know, plus or minus as far as accuracy. So we're gonna test it one more time. We're gonna use it. So we were at 86 and we went up to 90. And now we're going to be at 88. So, well, I guess that's the average, right? 86, 88, 90. So we'll just go with the 88. We, we're roughly in the same thing. So we're going to come back in one more hour and test our blood sugar and see where we're at, at two hours after eating a Built Bar. But so far, I'm pretty happy about this. Okay, it is 1040. 
Two hours after eating a built Bar, we're gonna test one more time, and as soon as I'm done, I'm gonna have a white chocolate peppermint super coffee. I've been waiting all morning to drink this, and I couldn't because we're doing a blood sugar test. So uh, let's grab some alcohol here. My fingers are starting to hurt. I keep like poking them. Okay. Grab a test strip. Yeah, I still don't like the fact that I am grabbing it. Like where we're gonna test. It's like stupid. Let me know what you guys think down below. Okay. Ooh, that was like a squirter. Ninety-two. Okay, so we're right back up where we started, 92 after two hours. I'm uh, pretty excited about that, actually. So we really didn't have any effect on the blood sugar. Um, going down, I suspect, because you are going to have an insulin response. There's no sugar. So, you know, obviously your body's going to pump out insulin. And since there's no sugar for it to counteract, it's going to lower your blood sugar even more, which is probably why we did drop down a little bit before. Uh, but in the meantime... I'm drinking a super coffee. Ugh. These things are so good. I saw notice somebody had actually asked if we tested our blood sugar after this. I have not um, because I don't feel a need to. I know all the ingredients and there's nothing in there that should be elevating my blood sugar at all. Okay, so um, let's see. In conclusion, they didn't raise my blood sugar. However, I'm going to stand by what I said in the review video of these and what Rachel and I talked about, and that is these can be dangerous. Uh, they taste so good. They really are so much like a candy bar that I really feel like you can definitely overdo them. Uh, I'm not going to say not to eat them. I'm, we will probably order a few and keep them once in a while. I mean, we obviously have a box that they've given us, uh, but... What I would say is one a week, maybe two a week, when you're just getting that hankering, I need something. I would definitely think that these are great for giving to your kids over a regular candy bar, especially when there's so many different flavors. Uh, I think if, if you are going to reach for a Twix bar or a Hershey bar, grab one of these instead, but just be aware that uh, they can be dangerous because they are that good. They are that sweet. They they are, There's nothing that tastes keto about them. Uh, one thing I did want to say, and I forgot to say in the review video, the way I'm probably going to deal with these because they are uh, five net carbs per bar and they are very satiating because you can see how they're chewy, like almost like a caramel in the middle. I'm probably going to put them in the freezer and then cut them into like two, three, four pieces. And then when I want something, just grab one piece, then I'm only having one or two net carbs and maybe only five or six total carbs. I'm getting that satiation of having a piece of candy or a piece of chocolate without eating the entire bar because I've now started my day off with this and usually the most I'm starting my day off is with something like this, not a bunch of carbs, whether it be total or net. So that is our video for today. Please do us a favor and hit that like button down below and make sure you subscribe to our channel and you hit that little bell button so that you're notified every single time we upload a new video. And until next time, bye.